Hi guys, once again, it's another video for Excel and Excel-like programs. So for today's video, I'll be showing you how to find the min, the max, Q1, Q2, and Q3. And while I'm here, I might as well throw in the IQR. So I'll be showing you how to find the five number summary plus the IQR. Okay, so this is going to be pretty simple and straightforward. So first we start off with the min. So there's actually a min formula. Okay, so let's select that. Select the data set. Close my parentheses and hit enter. And there's the min. So the minimum value of the data set. Okay, next one is the max, which is pretty straightforward too. The max formula. Just like the min, we'll select the data set. Close parentheses, and there's the max. Okay, now to find Q1, <clears throat> we'll actually use a different formula. This formula is called the quartile. So I'll select that. Okay, so now you see the format for this is going to be slightly different. So first we'll select the data. Okay, next, as you remember from that formula there, we hit comma. Then we're going to tell which quartile we're, we tell the program which quartile we're looking for. So Q1 is the first quartile. So I'll type in one and it should give me the first quartile. Okay, now Q2, we'll do the same way. Select my data set, comma, and two. Okay, another way to find a second quartile. Second quartile is also another name for the median. So if you forget, you can do it either way. doesn't matter which way you do it. You should get the same uh, value returned. <clears throat> so that's using, this way is using the quartiles, finding quartile two, and this way is finding the median. Okay, now to find Q3, we'll do it the same way. We want to use that quartile formula. Select the data set comma, this time we're looking for the third quartile. Right, and that's, the, there, that's all there is to it. Now to find the IQR, <clears throat> there's a formula we have to use. It's actually Q3 minus Q1. So there's two ways to do that also. So I'll show you both ways. So since we already have the quartiles listed here, I'll just hit equals to start my formula. I'll just take the value for Q3, click that box there, minus the value for Q1, and hit enter, and that's your IQR. Okay, the other way to do it is to put both functions into one formula. So this is how it will look. So we want to do equals, then we'll do quartile, select the data set here, so remember, we need to do quartile three first. So we'll do that, comma three, close parentheses. Then we'll subtract quartile again. Select the data set one more time, comma one, because we're subtracting the first quartile. Close parentheses, enter, and there we go. All right, so two ways to find Q2, just recapping here. So one way is to use the quartiles and you want to find the second quartile. The other way is finding the median because Q2 and median are the same value. Okay, and also for the IQR, two ways to do it. If you already have the values, you can subtract the values here, Q3 minus Q1 or you can subtract the quartile formulas. Okay, so we got quartile three minus quartile one. All right, guys, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Doesn't get any easier than that. 
I hope that's going to alleviate some of your worries for the homework that you're going to have to do. Um, but for this video, that's pretty much it. So thanks for tuning in to another one of my uh, videos here. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And stay tuned for the next video. All right, see you guys next time.